He would run into the player, look as though he was going to the player's left side and his right, okay, a little bit further back, Adam, okay, and with a little bit of a sway of his body, come on, he chopped the ball through his standing leg there and away from the defender. Again, very simple, but very, very effective. I'll show you again, Adam. Okay, so running in, showing you your left side, chop and through and on to goal. It's a favourite move of Roberto Carlos and Danielson, who both play for Brazil on the left side. And as well as being good, like I've showed against Adam there, when you're one-on-one -on -one running straight to the defender, it's also good in wide positions. And Carlos will use it as he's running down the left. He'll tempt the right back in towards him, running along with the ball. And just as the defender's coming in to steal the ball, Carlos will nip through with this Emerson move. Danielson used this in the final against Germany. I'll demonstrate that with you, Adam. If Adam and I were running together for the ball, racing for the ball, I'm running and I almost let Adam catch me up and make him think that he can nip in and take it. And at that moment he does, when he just gets in there in front of me, I'll just put it through there with that and I'm away from him the other side. So I'll show you again slowly. So Adam and I have both been racing for the ball. I've almost deliberately slowed down to let him get just a half metre ahead. And as he does and goes for the ball, I do this and I'm away and round the back. So if I just show you that off a run, okay? Adam, so we're gonna go down here, ready? Come on. And I just slow down a bit to make him think he's got a chance, come on. And then I'm through there and gone, and I could make a pass. Okay, but to practice that move again, very simple. It can be boring, but without this boring part of repetition, the nice, exciting, enjoyable parts of football are impossible. And that's what I saw in Brazil. The attitude of the children to these practices is fantastic, because I think they realize later on the nice things that they're going to be able to do with the ball. To practice that, we're going to touch forward, no pressure, okay, you don't need to defend. I'm going to touch forward, yeah, then a little Emerson move. Okay, go. It's important not to lift the standing leg too high. It's quite dramatic. So what I'd like now, if you can pick up the pace a little bit, aim to a corner, and then bang, you put one in. Come on, nice and quick, crisp. So we're almost at a sprint. Mark, bang towards this corner, come on. And stop. Good examples here from Kumar. Hit the corner here. Hit the corner, fast. Fast, he's coming for the ball, he's coming, he's coming, turn. Again, good. That was almost like the great man himself. This next movement, very important. You may think that it's not even football and it's more like dance, but Brazilians do dance with the ball and perhaps this exercise is why. We see players like Danielson doing those marvellous step-over movements. Stepping over the ball, when we do this, we're hoping to deceive the defender into going the way of the step, and then we push the ball in either direction. But there's really no hard and fast rules as to how many steps that we do do. What we must do at the end, after the last step, is take the ball away in the opposite direction. But before that, at the very beginning, we've got to get used to this movement. So, step around the ball, right, then around the ball, left. And it's important when we do that we drop our shoulder and go down with the knee on the side that we step with because that's the thing that will deceive a defender. So we go one and we go two. And we go one and we go two. We can do this two music, one, two. And we're kind of making a figure of eight if you look at the feet, with the feet. We start to quicken it up and instead of being back there on the bottom of our feet, there, we end up on the toes and we get into something of a rhythm. So we're almost dancing around the ball and making a nice smooth figure of eight, trying to be quite low as well, dropping the shoulder either side. An example, Adam. Head up. Good lad. Get a little bit low with your knees. Brilliant. Head up. Balance with your hands. And as we do this, we'll find that we're getting smoother and smoother and smoother. And only by practicing this movement without touching the ball are we able to do efficient and effective step overs that beat defenders in the game. This next one's a lovely move. It was made famous by Leonardo, the Brazilian player from the 1994 World Cup. Again, it's very simple. 
It's one again that we just need to work on our own before we can take it into a dribble. It can even later be used into a pass and I'll show you that later on. We look as though we're going to come out and kick the ball there with our right foot. But as we do, the heel of our right foot hits the ball back against the standing left foot and the inside of that foot. So it's out, heel and forward and stop. Out, heel and forward and stop. And just to show you that against the defender, if you can come there Kieran. I'm running up to Kieran in a game, showing Kieran a bit of the ball. I go to kick there. He looks at the ball, heel, and then I'm away around him. I'll go again. So I'll show you, Kieran. So I go to kick. Come on. Heel, round, and pass. One more. So I go to kick, heel, and pass to round him. Then I could be into goal. But we need to practice it first on our own, get used to that movement. Then later on, we can against the defender. As I say, it can also be used as a pass. I'll show you a little example here, Key. You're coming into me, I've got Mark there, I deceive you and use that as a pass over to Mark. So if we can just practice a few of those, let's go. Nice, and again, good, okay, well done. Our next move comes from Janinho, my friend who did so well at Middlesbrough and in the 2002 World Cup for Brazil. He uses this move when he's had to stop the ball. The defenders come into him and he's stuck in a little space. He pushes the ball out with his foot as though he's making a pass, then brings it back and pushes off in the other direction. So it's push out, stop, and off in the other direction. Push out, stop, and then you move off. So to begin, we're just going to do the little push. We're going to start inside of the foot, push out as far as the foot will go, then bring back. And with practice, we can develop more speed, and that's what will sell it to the defender as a pass. He thinks the ball's going off in one direction, out, but we'll then turn and push off in another. So just practice that as we're moving around the space. So I'm coming into Mark. He's took me there, and then he's off. That was excellent. OK, you try one against me, Adam. So I'm coming into you. I follow the ball, then you're off good. And you, Brads? Good. Kieran? Good and away. Janinho will progress that still further and take it all the way around his body and just let's stop, okay? So the defender will come in and he's going to spin 360 degrees all the way around, okay? Kieran, can you try and show me one of those? Adam? Good boy. Bradley? Good, Bradley. Mark? Now the other thing that we can do when we finished it off, if you imagine we've took the defender all the way around, we can then change direction at the end. So we can come that 360 degrees all the way around with the ball. Then as we get here, we can either do an elastic to finish, so we he thinks we're going there and go this way, or we may finish with a little move, change of direction there behind. Bradley shows it with that. Good. And again, Bradley. Nice. Again. So we can put one of the extra moves that we've done earlier on the end as an extra little bit of deception. Cleberson emerged as one of the stars of the 2002 World Cup. I thought he was Brazil's best player in the final. He plays in centre midfield where the space is very tight. You don't get a lot of time on the ball. And this little slam over move that he uses is very important for a midfield player. He takes the sole of his foot over the ball and rolls over the ball and then slams back with the outside of the same foot. So it's slam over and back. And if you'll notice, I'm not just doing it with the foot. Because just to use the foot, I'm not going to deceive the defender in the way that I want. So in practice, we want to build up, but we're taking the foot right the way over and push back. Little jog behind the ball. Over and back. Over and back. Over and back. OK, go. Nice, Mark. Excellent. So for the kids watching at home, just to remember, it's very important with this one not to get the ball caught there just in between our feet and to use the whole body. So it's the whole body falling across the ball then we push back with the whole body. So fall over and push back. I'm using my arms, my whole body, okay? Over and back and stop. Gahinche is one of the all-time greats of Brazilian football. Starred in the 1958 World Cup, many Brazilians say that he was even better than Pelé, who the world regards as the best player of all time. He was a fantastic player, an attacking player, left-sided um, player, and his favourite move is a very, very simple move again. A very, very simple move, but as with most of the others, very, very effective. He shifts the ball from his left side 
to his right side and then away from the defender. If you come in, Walid, he cannons the ball. He looks as though he's going to make a pass with the left foot, and he was left-footed, so the defender's thinking he's going to go that side. Just a step more back, Walid.